Good morning our listener. Welcome to our video today. Uh, today we are focusing on uh, revision and this is chemistry. This work is good for form 2, 3 and 4. If this is your first time to watch our videos, I would request you to consider subscribing to our channel. Hit that subscribe button, like button and bell icon and we shall appreciate. Uh, to our subscribers, we want to thank you guys uh, for you have uh, really supported uh, this channel. Let's start with question number one. You're told uh, the structure of ammonium ion is shown below. Uh, you can see it here. You are told name the type of bolt represented in the diagram by letter N and H. You can see it here. And uh, you are told to, uh, to name the bolt. That bolt is called coordinative. It is also called additive bolt. We move to uh, uh, question B. Study the table below and answer the questions that follow. Uh, you are given substance A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, you are also given their melting point. You can see there. You are also given their boiling point. You can see there. You are also given whether uh, they conduct or whether they are good or poor conductor of electricity in solid and liquid form and question number one you are told identify with the reason the substance that uh, roman one have a metallic structure and that one is uh, c substance c uh, uh, reason is because it is a good conductor of electricity in both molten and in solid state. We move to uh, Roman 2. A substance that have a molecular structure and exist in liquid state at room temperature and pressure. And that substance is substance D. Uh, why? Its melting point is below room temperature and boiling point above room temperature uh, if there is any other point that you have left out uh, you can write it for us in the comment section and uh, learners who will come here to learn or to revise chemistry they will find your comment let's move to question number five you can see it here you're told in an experiment ammonium chloride was heated in a test tube a moist rent litmus paper was placed at the mouth of the test uh, of the test tube and it first changed uh, blue and then rent you are told to explain this observation when you explain you get two marks uh, so what happened is that ammonium chloride uh, decomposed on heating to produce ammonium nitrate gas and hydrochloric gas and uh, later what we have here is that uh, ammonium nitrate gas is lighter than hydrochloric gas hence uh, it diffuses faster and it turns uh, rain litmus paper to blue. Uh, then hydrochloric gas is denser, hence diffuses at a slower rate. Then it uh, changes blue litmus paper to red. Question number six: Give the name of each of the process described below, which takes which takes place when salt are exposed to air for some times. Three marks. Uh, we are going to answer that question after this short break. Uh, we are requesting you if you have not yet subscribed. <laughs> to take a 
afflictions and you'll be done we are kind of done. Welcome back to the process. Describe law which takes place when salt is exposed to air for some time. You get three marks. Uh, Roman 1 An hydrous copper sulfate becomes wet. That process uh, is called hydroscopy. It is also called hydroscopic. Uh, Roman 2 Magnesium chloride forms an aqueous a solution that process is deliquescent it is also called deliquescent then we have this other one fresh crystals of sodium carbonate becomes covered with the white powder of that formula you can see here that process is a fluorescence we move to question number seven write an equation to show the effect of heat on a nitrate of potassium you can see it here the uh, the potassium nitrate you heat it you get you get uh, potassium nitrate and oxygen gas you can see how we have written it here uh, it's there then we have silver nitrate you heat it you get uh, you get uh, silver that is a solid you get uh, nitrogen oxide gas and then you get oxygen gas question number eight you are provided with the following solid uh, solid lead to nitrate magnesium oxide powder dilute sulfuric acid and distilled water you are told describe how you can prepare a dry sample of lead to two sulfate you are provided with the following with the following solid lead nitrate magnesium oxide powder dilute sulfuric acid and distilled water you are told describe how you can prepare a dry sample of lead to sulfate you get the remarks so uh, we will explain here step by step step number one dissolve lead to nitrate crystal in a given amount of distilled water in a beaker step number two to dilute sulfuric uh, acid uh, in a beaker and magnesium oxide powder uh, next step react the two solutions obtained next filter the mixture and wash the residue and then the last step dry the residue between filter papers to obtain a dry sample of lead to sulfate uh, we are through with this video our listener uh, we want to thank you for watching to up to the end and we are requesting you if you have not yet subscribed to our channel take one second or two and consider subscribing to our channel to our subscribers we want to thank you guys putting our channel today we are requesting you for one thing uh, like this video <laughs>